Hey yo, this is Dash. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so you might notice the food is actually gone out of the smoker. So one of the things that I wanna show you guys before I go ahead in the house uh, for the morning, uh, cause I gotta get my day started, get my kids ready for school, and I gotta go to work myself. <clears throat> but quickly, hopefully if I can do this, it looks like the battery's dying. So let me show you what I do. And of course, just as I was saying about the uh, the camera battery about to die, it died. So, coming back into the garage from the house, and we will, so what I started trying to tell you is that what I do is I move the bottom shelf up to the top so that I can get down in here and scrape all of this, uh, you know, the remnants from the mead and things like that. You can see what I've scraped off of the uh, shelves already. I have this, um, it's basically a floor scraper, I think, that I use um, in there to get this stuff out of here. So I'm gonna set you up on a tripod and uh, you can watch me finish this. Now, unfortunately, I don't have you aim down into the uh, smoker here just because I don't wanna get anything on the camera. All right, so before I make another mess and try to rinse it out, let me show you what I have going on here. So because at the bottom of this smoker, there's a, it's like a two by two piece of angle. And let me see if I can get some light. Okay, light acquired. So because of the fact that you can kind of see down there, there is a two by two two by two piece of iron, uh, angle that's down at the bottom. So what happens is all of the, the junk and the gunk that collects in the smoker, it collects up and it kind of, there's a lip because it's welded, that, that angle is welded. So I kind of have to scrape down in there and get everything out of there, okay? And you can see the um, drain is kind of gunked up at the moment. And it's a pretty decent sized drain. That's a two inch uh, check valve there. So what I'll do now is I'll use the hose and kind of scrape and use the hose to push some of that, uh, it all, uh, the gunk, I don't, I don't even know what to really call it. Just the remnants of the uh, the brisket. The, the fattier things tend to put off grease and those grease and those remnants of the meat breaking down and cooking, they hang around in the smoker. That's why um, like you can see on my hands, the, I try to keep my hands and stuff out of the way because I get filthy dealing with that black gunk in there. So let me go ahead and try to get this cleaned out quickly. Then I can get back in the house and get on to the next thing. Okay, so I've gone ahead and finished cleaning out the smoker and I wanted to show you guys what I've done. This is a better light. So I'll show you guys the inside of the smoker. Hopefully you get a better understanding of how this works. So just like I, <clears throat> I told you guys before, the uh, water pan in this smoker is slightly angled the pitch it pitches down uh, so that the water and things like that would run downhill the only problem is you can see this area dries out first and things like that and um, it's not necessarily the best when cooking because what ends up happening is this side ends up being a little hotter than this side over here so but again there's where the heat and smoke come up and out 
and um, you see I've cleaned it out pretty well usually once a year I go in here with like a, um, a grinding wheel and get all of that stuff out um, but that's good enough for good enough for government work <laughs> alright so at this point what I usually do is I have some um, hold on let me show you So I have some of this uh, grilling and cooking spray. Uh, this is just one I picked up when I was at the market one day because I saw it and knew I needed it. I have a couple big cans of like Pam um, and what I do is I spray the grates down as well as the inside of the, the smoker down and I can kind of keep it seasoned just like you would a cast iron skillet and that's how this side looks the way that it does this side looks a little rustier and things like that because of the fact that this is where the heat comes in so I usually focus um, my uh, cooking spray up here so I'm getting ready to spray that and then I'll go ahead on in the house Glad. One more thing I wanted to talk to you about before I go in the house, and that is if you time your cook and your things right, your fire will be pretty much dead and gone out by the time you are done. And this is pretty much all I want to have left burning before I leave it unattended. Because I actually told you before I have to get to work. What I'm going to do... Soak these coals kind of one last time so that I can uh, spread that out and actually I want to try and heat up the smoker not to the point where I need to cook on it I think I might chuck one log in there but I just want to heat it up so that um, the uh, the cooking spray will set just like you would with a, a cast iron skillet 